can never just kind of say, well, okay, this is, this is as much as I can do. Everyone looks to you to sort of get in and actually do the nuts and bolts work with it. I am a psychologist, a mom, a referee. Footage that falls short in some major way. You must never give up. You must find a solution. was basically ordered by Disney and sold to the director as we want you to create an adventure movie um, and pay homage to Mexico and his passion is surfing and he loves Mexico so perfect fit and he set out to do that so there was a bit of a switch two-thirds of the way through the process and the studio decided you know we really just want a comedy so I'll, I'll leave it at that, and I'll talk more after the, the clip. Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> oh, uh, that's some bark you guys got. I am Moctezuma. Come with us if you want to live. Yeah, I want to live. Now I've seen it all. Well, first of all, let me back up a little bit. That part of the script was submitted two weeks before shooting started, and everybody, you know, kind of wondered what they were doing, but because they really wanted to give an homage and, and be a little different and, and pay a little history lesson to really chihuahuas and, and, and a little bit of backstory. And it actually was quite fun and quite entertaining. But when they previewed it, the studio decided, oh, too much too much out of the box. Anyway, so they basically said, listen, we're going we're gonna to pull back on the, on the wide shots. We're going to cut the whole history lesson. I, I, you know, it was like the major twist in the third act of our movie. And I looked at the director's eyes, and I just saw this huge drop in his expression, even though he was trying to you know, maintain a brave face. And I just thought, I, I mean, right away, the wheels just started turning in my head because I knew it was going to fall on me to figure out how to do it. Tonight, we celebrate your arrival. Oh, thank you, Montezuma. Oh, please, call me Monty. <laughs> the director just literally said, I, I, I can't, I don't even know how, so I just said, clear the room, and I <coughs> came up with this. I don't remember how long it took me. It's uh, been a couple of years, but... Uh, that's sort of what we, we have to do. You never know what's going to get dropped on you and how big of a ship. Luckily, with these kinds of movies, you can rewrite. And so everybody in the editing room becomes a temp actor. And uh, we, we write, write, and comedians come in, and we play, and we, you know, work it out. We are chihuahuas. Chihuahuas rock. <laughs> But in the end, I think this is quite funny and, and entertaining, and so I, I, I think we did okay. So you really have to read the room and um, learn how to play the politics, and I, I'd say that is probably the biggest challenge. And um, either you have that gift or you don't, and I think the more successful people are the ones who really can handle, handle that. And that will get you out of situations creatively, politically, um, you know, throughout your career.